Hello viewers and welcome to my channel, it's Leonard here from DataLearner.com and in today's video tutorial, I'm going to walk you step by step on how to update and um, upload a photo to your Ink Nation account. Um, this is basically for the end users and if you are new to my channel, consider subscribing and hit the notification bell to be the first to be notified each time new videos like this are published on my channel. Now, if you don't know about Inks Nation, if you have not created an account yet and you're in Nigeria, then you are missing out. This is an opportunity for you to actually join um, this platform and be a part of the opportunity that Inks Nation is actually offering to every Nigerian. So in order to create an account, all you just need to do is to go to inksnation.io, create your account, and then you can always contact me. My WhatsApp number will be in the video description. To contact me to be able to fund your account for you the packages ranges from um there's one for a thousand error there's one for ten thousand and there's another for a hundred thousand so it all depends on what you want to achieve so basically in order to update your account and upload your photos there are basic things you need to do first you need to log into your account and you when it comes to uploading pictures, it's always very difficult and that is the essence of this video. So I'm going to show you how to do that and then how to snapshot, uh, screenshot your pin card to be able to print it as an ID card to start using it to collect your money. So first, what we need to do is to log into our account by just going to inkstation.io and then we'll click on login. So once you click on login, just put in your username and your password and then go ahead to login. All right, so this account presently is not verified and those who are registering between um, after July, uh, your Inks Nation um, credit will start dropping in your account. The ones you're going to collect, this time around is going to be 12% anyways per month. So what you'll be collecting will start dropping from 12th of November. So all you just need to do now to actually update your account is these three white um, lines at the top right hand corner this is what you are going to click on just click on the line and then you go to your account so once you click on the account tab here is where you put in your first name your username select your gender your email address and then it's already there anyways so your email address and username is there what you're updating is your first name your last name your gender your birthday, you're going to update your birthday, your phone number, and then your religion. You go ahead and click on save changes. Once you update this information, you go ahead and click on save changes. And then on the profile picture um, area is where a lot of persons have issues because if I just choose, click here to choose, it will take me to my gallery. And here I can choose any of um, these pictures here and try to upload. If I try to do this, just select any image and click on done and then try to upload you will get an error message and that is because the size of the image you are trying to upload is too large so that cannot go so you see that they will tell you um, request entity too large so this size is larger than the required size that Inks Nation actually require you to, to upload so in order to do that there is an app for those who are using phone if you are using a laptop or a desktop you have um, uh, Photoshop in your desktop you can use that to resize any image you want to upload but since majority let's say 98% um, of those who will be accessing this platform will be using phone it is better I do this with phone and that is why I'm doing this tutorial on the phone so in order to actually um, resize this image there is an app that we need to get and in order to get that app, just go to your Play Store I will leave a link in the video description to get the app and watch the app name is lead photo so this is the app you are going to get lead photo is about 3 mb it's not that heavy so you just download the app from play store the link will be in the video description and you have the option of compressing your photo resizing your photo and cropping your photo so in this case now the photo we want to use we just go ahead and click on compress photos um, these compressed photos give us the option of both compressing and resizing our photo so go ahead and select the image you want to compress and then click on the check mark here to select that image so you can reduce the quality by percentage and then you can equally resize the image so right now the size that the app is recommending for us is about 500 kb 
so you can go ahead and reduce it down to less than 100 kb and then the quality reduce this to i normally leave it at 20 percent so once you are done with it um, all you just need to do is just to go ahead and click on this start compressing now uh, so you just click on the start compressing and that will go ahead and compress the photo so it has successfully been compressed all right so once you come back to the home page of the app you will see this tab here where you see result folder at the top right hand corner here there's a result folder this is where you are going to see so by default when you created the when you install this app there is a folder that is created in your file manager which is the lead photo folder so all of your compression your resizing and the image you are going to crop all of them will be safe inside that folder so in order to assess that if i minimize this and go back to my app again so we'll just look for my file manager go ahead and click on the file manager and you can see the lead photos you have lead photos folder for resize lead uh, photo folder for cropping and then the lead photo this is where you have all the image that you've compressed so you can actually share this on whatsapp or download it or just move it from here to your uh, gallery so once you've done this and you moved it to your gallery the next thing is to go back to ink nation and then you can now upload that file that you just compressed here once you upload it it will be successfully uploaded so once you successfully upload that um, picture you just resize now once you upload it here you need to upload this before you print out the pink card because this image will be embedded on your card so you need to upload it because that is what the exchanger will see that is the card actually belongs to you to be able to verify your account so once you successfully uploaded the picture here and save settings go back again to the lines here and then click on your pin card now as you can notice now the pin card is not available until you update your profile so i just click on the pin card now and it is not available until you update your profile so once you update your profile the information on your profile once you update this information and click on save settings your pin card will be available and once you click here and click on the pin card you'll be able to view the pin card and then you can now screenshot it both the front and the back and go to any server cafe or anywhere you can print your id card to print them out so once you finish updating your information successfully the next thing you will need to do now is to get your account verified so you need to look for an exchanger in your state and that is by clicking on this kyc here um, just click on this button and it will bring you to this page once you select the state where you are presently it will bring out a list of all the verified exchanger in that area and you can call any of them on phone or go to them to actually get your account verified and once your account is verified and you have printed your card you can now wait whenever you have the percentage of the money you're going to withdraw dropped in your account you can now go to any exchanger in your area to get that money from them so basically those are the basic things you need to do first you update your profile once you update your profile your pin card will be available and you can now go ahead and print out the card as an id card it is that id card you will use to collect your money wherever you go so basically that is all you need to do as um at any user to get your account verified i hope this video was helpful as i said earlier if you are new to my channel consider subscribing and hit the notification bell to be the first to be notified each time new videos like this are published on my channel and share these videos with friends if you like it and give it a thumbs up if there's anything you don't understand or you want me to put it through always use the comment section below and i will definitely be more than happy to assist you my whatsapp number will be in the video description if you need help go ahead and chat me up on whatsapp and i will see how best to help you so until we see my next video bye for now